Hey guys, and welcome to week 30 of my devlog for Finding Home, the zombie game and creating. Alright, um, let's log in here. Again, the, these maps are just the same. Um, <clears throat> I was working with my mom on this map here, but it's just on our personal computer, it's not on the live version. Uh, once she's finished the map, I'll get it from her and um, update the live version. Uh, that, but that'll probably be a while, because she's just learning. We just went over the, the basic ropes and stuff, and she's, she seems like she's enjoying it, which is good. And we'll see how that turns out when she's finished. Um, first off, you'll see that uh, I just put a simple like, kind of intro into the kind of game. It also just gives the game some time to load up the background, um, so the landscape and everything's in. I was saying last time, I just wanted to do something simple for uh, the intro video for now. You can upgrade and increase it later and make it way more smooth. Um, again, I, I was I still have to do fixing of the uh, some of the level stream volumes. Alright, so um, I haven't put any more enemies deeper into it yet, but again, it's just a drag and drop of uh, where I want them, pretty much. I might add more to the training area, and maybe just like for this area, I might add some, just, like, some storage sheds, but for this part, I might just kind of leave it as is. Then the next part I added was up here. And I just got into adding this part here. Uh, I still need to add the grass. Uh, and I'm going to add some gates that you can kind of like push over. I think they're physics enabled. Um, so I got some trucks down there. Uh, this I'm gonna have uh, interactable doors and then uh, another big parking garage um, and then j just for just and giggles I have it loading the rest of my assets just once you pass this line but again these these gates are not interactable yet so that's why they weren't in the first pass um, Uh, yeah, that's all I got in for this week in the live game. I know it's not much, but uh, I was working on getting the house, uh, getting a new house, pretty much for my mom. So I'm buying a second house, and everything looks like it's going through. Um, so the closing date is on September 15th, which is not that far because it's uh, September. It's August 13th now, so in a month, um, my mom will have uh, hopefully her her house which would be awesome my, my second house out here um, never thought I'd be able to own a house and now I have two um, well not really two because my mom will be living in the other one but yeah the prices out here are way cheaper than Ontario and uh, uh, only a hundred thousand for a fully finished three-bedroom house is yeah it's pretty sweet so uh, I been busy with that with uh, obviously uh, mortgages and uh, banks and the realtor and the lawyers and the stuff to get that all sorted uh, and I know September's coming up soon so I did try to book off time near the uh, end of the month so I could get more hours in to just kind of polish things up and get things finished off and hopefully have something for you guys um, yeah, let's, uh, that's all I have to show, really, for the game. So let's uh, head over to the engine. And ground zero. Maps. Ground zero. But yeah. Um, 
if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, again, please let me know. I know you guys usually just tell me them in person. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep trying to work on this as much as I can. Like I said, hopefully get some time off near the end of the month and really crack down on it. Um, I think it's coming along. And I, yeah, like I said, sadly I wasn't able to get much done because I was just working on getting that, like getting everything polished off and finished off with the house. And again, the, the house looks like it's coming along, so looks like we'll get that, and that'll be sweet. Um, so my mom, which who I was hosting, who's staying with me right now, will be leaving this weekend, so then I'll be able to go back to my kind of regular routine of how much I was doing uh, on the game. And um, usually it doesn't take this long to load. I don't know if it's because I'm streaming, uh, like recording right now, or something else is going on. All right, there you go. So like I was saying, um, I just have this main level streaming volume here. Oh, main. That I pretty much put the rest of the level in. So once the player enters this main level streaming volume, it pretty much just loads up the rest of the scrap. Um, but again, I obviously want to do it more efficiently and uh, like the first stuff, as you can see here. This is all one mesh with LEDs. This is all one mesh with LEDs. This whole front area is one mesh with LEDs. The road is one complete mesh with LEDs. Um, and if I need to edit any of these things, like the road the, or the skid marks, then I would go to my ground zero, my blue tints, my world object, my areas, and I have a blueprint for each. So then, like, garage parking one, I'll just drag out my garage parking one, do the edits that I need to do, and once I've done the edits, I'll merge them into one solid actor again, and then make uh, the level of detail, um, or the LODs, the level of de details um, into it. So, depending on how far the character is away, uh, is how good the quality of that object will be just to save on performance so we could have this massive world that and running at, at good frame rates right let's see they still have because everything's loaded in right now but there we go like if you look I think it was just because I have background stuff going on right now but Usually when I'm doing this test, I'm, I'm running at about 100 frames per second, so I don't know why it's running at 40. I'll oh, see it just did something there, it just dropped down to 20. That's because I must be loading something in the background. I just booted up my computer, so there could be like other processing going. And it's still trying to open other things in the editor. But, um, so all these objects will need to be grouped together as a, a prefab blueprint once I like the way they look like the helicopter pad pre pre-assembled as a prefab blueprint and then once I like the way that blueprint looks I turn into the static mesh um, and I'll just keep moving on so once I get the whole science facility done like you can see that this is all one solid mesh here um, so I, next for the science facility, I gotta get that front walkway. Um, I gotta get the desks and stuff. I might just throw in. A lot of people like when you can just use, apply the physics to them and run into them and knock them over and stuff. So I gotta figure out a good medium between what people want to be able to just destroy and what people want to be kind of static. Like they don't need to destroy all these barrels, I don't think. But well, we could, we could, I could go back, I could always go back and change things when I get your guys' feedback. And that's the stuff that I'll need to know, like, hey, I want to be able to kick this, uh, this barrel over because I don't like it. Well, you gotta, you gotta let me know which, which ones and stuff. Take pictures, screenshots, and comments and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to keep it simple because it is a pretty short week, I didn't get much in. But I will try to continue to put as much stuff in as, as I can. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.